everyone. Welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is illustrating different tautologies and fallacies. What is a tautology? It is a proposition that is always true under any circumstance. Example 1. If Alex is not a boy, then she is a girl. How do we determine if this one is a tautology or not? First, okay. Alex is a boy is the proposition that can be true or that can be a false. So to negate it, of course, not true will be false and not false will be true. Alex is not a boy, is not a boy, implies that she is a girl. So not P. Okay? So the proposition here is Alex is a boy. Then she is a girl is of course our conclusion there. So not P, not the proposition, and then not the proposition implies that the proposition it's the opposite so therefore not p implies not p t implies f that will be true and then f implies true that will be true so therefore this one is a tautology why because this one is always true example two if a bird keeps soaring up, if and only if, it keeps flopping its wings, then it falls down if and only if it stops flopping its wings. So in this case, there are two propositions. The other two here are just the negation. So let's represent them first. So we have P and Q. The P here is the bird keeps soaring up. And then the Q here is flopping its wings. So this one is true, true, false, false. These are the possibilities that these statements or propositions are true or of course false. So this one is true, false, true, false. And then not meaning negation, this one it falls down rather, that is not P. Not true is false, not true is false, not false is true, not false is true. And then not Q, not true is false, not false is true, not true is false, and then not false is true. Next, let us now translate this. If a bird keeps soaring up, that is P, and if and only if, it keeps flopping wings. So meaning this two. So if and only if. P, if and only if. Q. So T or T referring to your truth table. That will be true. T or F. T, if and only if. F, that will be false. F, if and only if. T, that will be false also, referring to your truth table. And then F, if and only if F, that will be true, referring to your truth table. Next, the next one will be this one. It falls down if and only if it stops flopping its wings. So we need this too. Okay, so this time if and only if, not P, if and only if, not Q. So, if, if and only if, that will be true. If, if and only if T, that will be false. Referring to your truth table. T, if and only if, that will be false. And then true, if and only if true, that will be true. And finally, you have to connect this. It says here, if a bird keeps soaring up, if and only if, this one, it keeps flopping its wings, then, so we will get the last one. So how are we going to do that? So I will be writing it here. Here. P. Q. And then. 
and then the last one, then not P if and only if Q. Okay, so let's do it. T if and only if T is T. F if and only if F that is also T. F if and only if T if F rather that is T. And T if and only if T that will be T. So this one is also a tautology because everything is true. Let us now go to fallacies. Fallacy is a kind of reasoning in which conclusion does not necessarily or logically follow from the premise. Remember that the premise is our if part. Okay, there are three types of fallacy. Fallacy composition, fallacy division, and fallacy relevance. When we say fallacy composition, it is a fallacy in which the common characteristics of the individual parts are attributed to the whole. Okay. What about fallacy division? This is the reverse of fallacy composition, meaning the common characteristics of the whole are attributed to the individual parts. And the fallacy relevance is, of course, from the word relevance, it is a proposition in which there is a relevance from the premise. Example okay. one. If a boss goes to prison, then his subordinates also go to prison. This one is an example of a fallacy. Why? Because as you notice, it says here, if a boss goes to prison, then his subordinates also go to prison. Does that mean that if your boss goes to prison, you are also committing the same crime if you are his subordinates? This one is a fallacy. What kind of fallacy is this? This fallacy is what we call fallacy division. Why? Because the whole part is attributed to the individual parts. What about number two? Number two, every member of the choir recruited by our teacher is an excellent singer. Therefore, the choir is an excellent choral group. This one is a fallacy composition. And then the last one, Pedro is a handsome boy. Therefore, either his mother is beautiful or his father is handsome. This one is fallacy. Fallacy. Relevance. 